All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the house with the Shirogoro of F950, here with me for a maintenance video. And uh, I mean, look at this, this is already gorgeous, but this is the factory smooth Shiro. Uh, you see, it just needs a little bit of love. I think there's uh, some thick grease uh, underneath uh, uh, this pivot. We're gonna find out, we're gonna clean it up and uh, lube it up uh, uh, to a little bit more glide shot. Uh, closing action rather than this uh, uh, gentle shake shot action. Uh, let's go ahead and start. Um, I'm just gonna use like this uh, tool right over here to take apart uh, the handle screw like this. I like this one because I can angle it and I can have a little bit more torque than a, just like a straight uh, uh, tool. Then I'm just gonna use my fingers uh, to uh, take this guy apart. The least uh, interactions that a tool has with the shiro the better and then i uh, just need like this kind of bit for the uh pivot just a little bit like that this wasn't lock tighted too bad so that is a good thing uh, to do and that is done and then uh just pinch the blade break the detent and uh, let's see gentle wiggle maybe this thing is tight is put together in a tight way for sure yeah there is the grease uh, not a biggie we're gonna take care of that but you can actually see that is pretty thick um, I'm gonna use one of these alcohol swabs right over here uh, so let's just take the spacer out This is tight, I am telling you. Uh, and then I'm just gonna need a set of tweezers right over here to pull this cage out. Look at that, very cool. And we got these three little fellas that are, let's go there, one, two, and three. So I'm just gonna keep everything here for now. And uh, let's do it. Uh, I'm just gonna open one of these. And uh, I'm starting from, actually this is bone dry, so not good, it's all right. So check this out, you see this guy came off like so. So, and this is something uh, you see from here, you want to make sure that this stays uh, in that position. Uh, when this, of course, you have uh, also the same on the other side. If they don't want to come out, uh, I suggest you, you grab a little magnet, put it on a plastic uh, um, sort of bag, and then this thing should uh, pretty much come off but of course uh, there is some suction created by the lube or the grease underneath that which is gonna keep this thing trapped and even like a magnet look at that and that pops off so just keep the side up that you are going to make it uh, touch uh, make it contact with the bearings so because that's the worn part which you want to keep uh, uh, wearing out, right? So just gonna just dry basically these just to remove the excess of grease and then we're gonna clean them out nicely. So that's that. Don't lose any of these ball bearings. They're 1.5 millimeter uh, thick if you're curious, but anyways. Uh, we're gonna grab another of these alcohol swabs, hoping that that's not bone dry, and that is fine. And then uh, we can start just cleaning up the blade, right? We're gonna start from this side and just removing all the grease. It is brand new, look at this. It's not even a tiny mark of... Uh, and check the uh, detent ball ramp right at the corner, very cool introduction for another production knife 
that's a, that's very cool seeing uh, watching Shiro Gorov evolve uh, this much <laughs> who knows uh, what's gonna come out because you know they're bringing down features from the custom division to the production and that's a fantastic thing imagine when custom division are gonna have uh, like features which is happening uh, taken from the full custom uh, lineup I'm very excited for that love the custom division stuff I like the production but to me the custom division is just like another level very very hard to beat one of my favorite uh, uh, nice set uh, lineup of knives uh, ever I mean love them this is pretty clean guys uh, uh, I think I'm just gonna clean the pivot as well and uh, we are pretty much uh, good to go I mean to clean the just clean inside this track like that very good so that is uh, it for that I'm just gonna do this look at this I'm gonna soak these guys in a little bit of alcohol like that and we have these just do that so they are soaked grabbing the tweezers and just popping these fellas out because uh, this is uh, yeah it's a tedious process I know but um, that's like 42 uh, bearings I know you have to do this 42 times I know but I bet the action at the end is gonna be stellar and uh, it's worth it do it it's gonna take like five minutes so here you go so pretty much here oops no, they didn't come out like that that's good and here we got a couple still in and these are out all right so that's very good I'm just gonna dry everything here like so make sure you do this so you don't drag anything away and out of the mat do all the operation on a mat so you're pretty sure you're not gonna lose anything all right done so I'm gonna start uh, this guy goes in the back right here I'm just gonna place it like so uh, this fella is here and goes in and also that is in so now it's the fun part right where you grab these ball bearings one by one and you just place them here one by one like so and just rotate a little bit right that's the fun part that's where you develop your inner Zen personality see how am I doing I'm just grabbing and dropping and with the finger just rotating the cage so it's relatively painful you just need a set of tweezer you need a set of uh, patience I don't know if they sell that on Amazon I don't know maybe you can check on fablades.com and see if there's any available everything is sold out but you might uh, be able to grab uh, some left all right look at this done so uh, for this are we gonna do 10 weight or 85 weight guys what do you guys think what do you think I'm uh, gonna go with 85 you know I like uh, gonna do three drops here and one drop here 85 weight nano oil for this F95 zero all right so this is gonna go 
right there. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do like so. Because I don't wanna risk that. So this is gonna be here. Very good. And here we go. See, it's like pretty. So in this case, I'm not uh, rotating the um, cage because uh, there is no cage track. I'm just having the cage lying on the blade. So it's pretty much free to go wherever. So I'm just gonna make sure to drop the balls in the right slot. And if not, just gently adjusting like that. And sorry guys, if I'm not doing this at this in the center of the screen, but yeah, it's like, can't need to be closer. And here we are. So that is done. Uh, just adjusting this to be in the center, grabbing a little bit extra A5 weight nano oil and doing one, two and three drops and you know what I'm just gonna do this so I'm just gonna have this thing right over here overlapping and being uh, pretty much centered like so right so when you uh, put the scale down it's gonna be alright don't forget the backspacer because it's a fantastic addition to this um, and check the internal milling one more time before I close this guy down and uh, that is it right yes very good so this is in place everything is in place nice and sandwiched and uh, now is just the time for the pivot I highly suggest uh, I recommend you guys get a uh, a shiro tool uh, so you're not gonna be marring anything right um, I think the, the bit goes here or on the back hmm. let's do it like so and let's align the backspacer like that and the screw is here probably no it was on the other side it's all right not a biggie we're gonna go custom division orientation for this one and this now works just in the straight position like so and like that just a little tighter this and uh, let's check the centering boys spread a little bit of that still a little bit too tight so maybe we can do just a smidge left less so this guy still has to break in Oh man, well I can tell you already that this is, this is going to be a gorgeous one. What do you guys think about this action here, hey? Not too shabby. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned.